Hello, this is Janelle Mann, and this video talks about scatter plots. One way to display data is through a scatter plot. In this case, we are not just displaying one single variable, but we are displaying two variables together. So in this case, we are displaying the pair of shoe size in US sizes and height in inches. Each of the observations that you see is a pair for one individual person. I have put a yellow highlighted area to indicate the form and the direction of the relationship. So scatter plots can show us the form, direction, and the strength of a relationship. We will cover some different numerical ways of describing these same words, but right now all you're expected to do is to look at a scatter plot and describe it with words. So when we speak and use the word form in Econ 2040, what we meant, what we mean is whether the relationship is linear, a straight line, or whether it's nonlinear. There are many, many examples of nonlinear relationships and we are not going to model those in Econ 2040. We will leave those for a nonlinear econometrics course. So when you speak about form, you either need to say, does the relationship look like it follows a straight line? Or does it look like it does not follow a straight line? So a nonlinear relationship. The direction means, is it a direct relationship or an indirect relationship? These are terms that you would have covered in Econ 1010. A direct relationship means, does an increase in one variable uh, be associated with an increase in the other variable? So for example, a taller person tends to have a larger shoe size. So for our example about shoe sizes and height, it would make sense that they have a direct relationship. We can see this in the graph because the slope is positive. On the other hand, some relationships may be linear and indirect. This means that the relationship, if one variable gets higher, it tends to be associated with a smaller value. Finally, the strength of a relationship can be viewed as the spread between the points and the relationship line. So if you look at the graph here on the left, the scatter plot, you can see that there is a linear relationship, or it looks like there's a linear relationship, and the points are quite spread out in comparison to the graph on the right, where there is a similar slope in the linear relationship, but the points are very close to a line if we were to place it on top of those points. The scatter plot here on the left is, has a stronger relationship than the graph on the right. That's all we're going to talk about right now for scatter plots, but one thing to keep in mind is that just because we can see a form, direction, and strength, for example, we can see in this graph here a linear relationship that is direct, and the strength is, I would say, somewhat moderate. It does not mean or infer anything about causality, and we will be speaking about causality the next time we meet.